Thank you for dealing with that situation. I know it wasn't pleasant, but life just isn't always a pleasant thing. Certainly not in my case. Nevertheless, we have... Uh, I know. I feel partially responsible for her death. But if I give in to remorse or sorrow, I would be doing her a dishonor. From now on, I'm going to honor Aemon's leg. No matter what the future holds, Evermore is deeply indebted to you, as I am too. In times like these, we all... There was a time when the people of Evermore admired me. I hope my folly hasn't cost me their faith. Even if it has, though, I will dedicate myself to earning it. No matter what the future holds, Evermore is deeply indebted to you, as I am. Is that the sound of battle I hear? The Imperial's tricks are undone, but your stone city will still fall. Through Crow's eyes, I spy your weak demon. You don't need a Crow's eyes to see this. Use your own. Look north. If you do not spy my armies now, you will soon. Count you! The sooner your fate is accepted, the better we will all feel. I am queen of these lands, not that weak woman over there. Tell her the truth! After the city's sat, I'm going to peck out her eyes! I hope you'll forgive me for being blunt, but under the circumstances, there's no time for social niceties. I am still in awe of what you've done to save the city, but did I just see you talking to a crow? So that's why all these crows have descended on the city? Gods, I knew it wasn't a coincidence. Fine, I'll give every guard a bow. I think it's time for us to do some bird hunting. First though, if you spoke to their leader, what did she say? I see, not really much of a surprise. The Reachmen are bearing down on North Glen already. We've already sent every soldier we can spare, but there's little chance of turning the tide of battle. Your presence there might make all the difference. Once you get there, I'm sure the Reachmen won't know what hit them. Look for Sergeant Antive in North Glen. He was just sent there, but with Captain Huron dead, he's one of my most senior officers. I suppose I'll need to give him a promotion. Sure, he could probably use some encouragement. Tell him I'm going to promote him to Lieutenant, assuming we defeat the Reachmen, of course. Look here. If it isn't Strassnock's bane. Have you come down to lop off a few more Reachman heads? There are plenty to go around down these parts. Smart woman. Damn glad she's back in charge. Who'd have thought Duke Renshin was going to sell us all out? Guess he got what was coming to him. We've got Re- I'm expecting you to come back here with at least a few Reachman heads hanging from your belt. We can mount them on the city walls. I wonder what Captain Huron did with old Strassnock's head. We should get that one up. No. But damn! That stupid Nord! He was in on Duke Renshin's plan, wasn't he? I had a feeling. Well, I guess he got what was... She said that? Well, I'll be an Argonian's uncle. I thought I'd be sergeant forever. Maybe I can afford that new mace after all. Assuming we beat the Reachman and the Queen stays true to her work. I hope you're here to help me. Dureg and his Dark Witnesses attacked without warning. My best scouts go to gather information. Only two returned. Isabeth disobeyed. Any help is welcome. Isabeth was last seen advancing toward the chapel to look for Hatmi. The scout. Take this concoction Elgeny made. It heals and conceals, according to her. If they're injured, they'll need it, but it only lasts so long. They must come here straight away. Stendar's finally seen it fit to grant me a little mercy. He did? Not Isabeth? I'd hoped she'd gotten the others to the camp. She rescued a Weiris, and a villager named Laetil. The Weiris said they're holding an area beneath the alien ruins. Isa said she'd go. Yes, one of the women of the woods. I was taught never to trust them, 
But Isa thought they could help us retake Northglen and keep the Reachmen out of Evermore. She might. Thank you. I hope to see you back at the cab. Another one. Curious. What do you want? She was here. She returned our sister to us, so we are in her debt. The other has a sickness within her, of an unknown kind. We will keep the sick girl away from the land, lest she spread an incurable disease through our woods. By the look of things, you're probably one of the ones fighting the Reachmen. That's good. We don't... I keep thinking how that could have been me. Yes, the Dark Witnesses caught me while scouting the chapel. I'm in Isabeth's debt for finding me. A few moments longer, and the, the Dark Witnesses planted something inside of her. I'm not sure what sort of reach magic they used to get in there, but a sickness grows in her. None so far. Delphique has a final plan, but if it doesn't work, we'll know... Weirus Asteria let you in? I trust she had good reason. What drove you to seek... Ah, you seek this child. She goes nowhere. She's infected and I must deter... It's a seed for certain. Though what the Dark Witnesses have cultivated in the fields of North Glen is a mystery. I've one last attempt at a cure. Watch and remember what you are about to see. First, I'll expose the corruption. Look! You can see it plainly. Now to see if I can purge it. Foul creature, be gone! Well, that didn't go as planned. Disturbing, to say the least. So the Dark Witnesses would turn us all into their puppets to reinforce their army and take Evermore. We can't allow... I tried to draw out the evil, but my spell agitated it. Transformed her into one of those abominations roaming North Glen. Small wonder we've seen no prisoners. They've turned them. And the Evermore soldiers? And why should we trust them? If we left the Viridian Woods, they'd cut down our trees in days, and mine the land with... Take this rune to wither the Reachman's markers in the fields, then cut off Dureg's head. Prove yourself on our side as well, and I'll meet the Captain Isabeth spoke of. She left, said she had to search the farmhouses. Are you stalling, or do you truly believe we can trust the soldiers of Evermore? Isabeth spoke of an alliance too before she left. Well, you can finish her work. Luck be with you. We'll journey to the Evermore camp if you complete the job. We're closely tied to the land, so we'll know. Reachman effigies that Dureg conjured out of the earth. Perhaps remnants of power they left behind. They're the source of the seeds they call. This land used to be theirs, and not so long ago. They're here to reclaim it. It's why Evermore is such a prize to them. Perhaps we... Whatever the Dark Witnesses are using, it consumes the victim. Had this child lived, she would have attacked. We've been observing them. Yes, we believe a seed is forced inside. It takes root within the heart. As you saw, any real attempt to... 
Reachman effigies that Dureg conjured out of the earth. Perhaps Rem... This land used to be there. It's empowered with weird magic. When it comes into contact with the marker, the magic will course through it, withering it to the point where nothing is left but dust. Love of Mara, I didn't think I'd see the end of this day. Did Captain Garrowcroft, my father, send you? I know Durake's plan. He has stores of seeds he plans on using to turn the innocent into pawns for his army. You must destroy the stores. With Durake, I'm badly injured. Whatever Durake was doing to me, probably trying to implant one of those seeds like the others, has left me too weak. You need to go. Finish the... Perfect. One of Elgeny's, I bet. This will do nicely. Trying to implant me like the rest. He said he was adding me to his ranks. That I'd be the perfect weapon. And he'd watch as I attacked my own father, and my father would have to kill me. I recognize it. And it's one of Elgeny's best. The poultice does more than heal. It grants invisibility. But if you engage any of the... The spell will break. No. I only found one survivor. And then Glenmora Weird wouldn't let her go. I found Ulmad and Vindeus dead. But Hotmi, did you find her too? You don't know him. He only acknowledges me when I'm doing something wrong. He calls me Isabeth the Impatient. <laughs> Isabeth the Ignorant.
father. Yes, I'm in your debt for finding me. El Ginny says I'm going to be fine. I think Abir was more relieved than I was. Well, I hear the weird agreed to help us drive out the Reachmen. I hope you... Weir is still fake. What is the meaning of this? I thought as much. Captain Gearcroft, your scout is infected. Kill her if you wish to maintain this alliance. I won't kill her based on your word. Then trust your new ally's word. I'll make my own judgment. I don't take orders from you. Father, stop! So it's true. I'm infected. This is absurd. That must be why Elgeny's poultice didn't fully heal me. I wasn't conscious for a while after they captured me. He had time to... to... everything I've been through. For this? And my own father won't even acknowledge me as his daughter. But it's worth it, right? I'll let Delphique know I'm ready. I'm sure she won't hesitate, and my father won't stop her. Evermore has always taken priority for him. Evermore and duty. Maybe I follow in his footsteps after all. I've made my decision, father. Elizabeth, don't be foolish. You can't think straight. No, father. I've never been so clear. We're a Stelfique? Do it. Now, before I change my mind. Ah! Elizabeth! The weird expect an alliance now after they murder my daughter in cold blood? They're lucky I don't have them all killed here and now. After what the weird did to my daughter, the weird has killed her without hesitation. I can't have that unpredictable. Isabeth was a foolish girl. I should have disciplined her better. Made her stronger. She never followed orders. I knew this way of life. Yes. Evermore needs this alliance. But I need... Isabeth's sacrifice will be remembered. You've proven yourself as a great ally to Evermore. I'll agree to this alliance. Together, we'll drive out the Reachmen. Yuella the Hagraven is the true evil here. Even together, my sisters and these soldiers can only prevent these Reachmen from advancing further south. Defeating the Dark Witnesses for good will require that someone go... With the Crows as her spies, Yuella is everywhere. But the Hagraven's physical form is assuredly deep in Reachmen-held territory. My sisters have been searching for her. You would venture up to Jackdaw Cove? Yuella's influence has corrupted everything there. It's wretched. But if you are willing, I will not try to dissuade you. Search for my si Keep your distance, outsider. The last thing we need is some rock-brained city dweller bumbling around. Darkness dominates this part of the forest. She did? I find that hard to believe. Delphique knows how I feel about Al- Right now, we are in no position to offer anyone aid. And certainly not a city dweller. Yuella the Hagraven and her reach- Where they travel, the forest slowly withers and dies. We will drive Yuella and her dark witnesses from here. Or we will die. Unfortunately, the old hag is no strain- You expect me to trust one such as you? Perhaps, if one of my sisters keeps an eye on you. Where is Rashan is young? Here she comes now. Rashan, we have a volunteer to destroy Yuella's totems. We aren't in the habit of trusting outsiders. The suffering of the forest seems to have softened my sister's heart. If you really... It won't be easy. First, you will need to destroy Yuella's totems. They keep us from drawing on the power of nature for our magicka. The Reachmen guard them closely, but I'll fight at your side. No sp I do what I do for the forest, not for you. There are three totems, just a bunch of strung-together sticks for you, but they're like poisoned. Oh, 
can know. And the crows call for your death. Listen, I, I was wrong to be so hard on you before. You've certainly proven now that you deserve my trust. I appreciate your help more than I can express. You did? <laughs> well, I guess we got the old hag's attention. Maybe we put the foul thing on the defensive. Of course, she... The poor crows. She's taken complete control of them. Their spirits are helpless. They can only watch what happens to their physical forms from the nature realm. She does have them coming and going, though, so they would know where to find her. As a matter of fact, now that I can draw on the power of nature again, there is. I can take you into the nature realm, not in that form, of course, but it would allow us to talk to the crow's true spirits. Do you trust me? I don't think Uella's going to see this coming. Once the crows tell us how to find her, we'll soon be gnawing on her rotten little bones. It must be nice to be able to travel between this realm and the physical realm. I'm stuck here. Yes, I'm stuck here. If she were here, I'd peck her eyes out. No, she's not in the nature realm. But of course, you can't reach her in the physical realm. Maybe one of the other crows knows more. A wolf tried to eat me once, you know. Just because we're in the nature realm, you think we can be friends now? Maybe. Oh? If you can access the physical realm, you might have a chance. The door to Yuela's lair is in this realm, you see. We can dispense with the small talk. I know why you're here. Even in the nature realm, news travels fast among crows. Getting to Yuela is... Well, why didn't you just say so? That would work. There is something different about you, isn't there? Yuela's lair is in the island tower. Break the wall. So Yuela's hiding away in the island tower. Let's go scout it out. Nice. I guess you're the one who's going in. Here I was, just starting to feel like you're one of the pack, and now we have to part ways. Obviously, I'll have to be the one to break the wards on the door. It doesn't I don't think so. Her lair's actually in the physical realm, so you'll assume your physical form. Probably not so much chewing, I suppose. That's good, though. You'll need your hands. After the crone's dead, you'll have to get her nest. When I said her blood was the nurture that the forest needs, I meant that, literally. She's the source of the corruption here, so we need her heart to perform the ritual to... There. Back in the physical realm. Time to do this. All right, the door should be open now. Go get me that heart. Tear you apart, my crow. 
No more restraint! Bodies and minds together again! The crows of Jackdaw Cove are in your debt! Yes, free and feasted! The Hagraven was all skin and bones, but what's there is sweet to eat! So thank you for saving us, and thank you for supper! The Reachmen must have sensed Yuella's death. They started to panic and fight amongst themselves. Made them easy pickings for me and my sisters. Now, you see all the giant vines choking the life out of everything here. The ritual will purge the area of their evil presence. It's necessary for the land to heal. Why are you stalling, though? You Actually, hold on to it. I have an idea. Weiris Freda will howl, but I think you've earned the honor. Let us begin the ritual, and once we've penetrated the earth... All right, sisters. Let us begin the ritual. It's your moment. Go ahead. Throw the heart into the circle. Who would have guessed it would be an outsider who would show up and kill Yuella? I doubt this means we'll start inviting families from Evermore out to visit, but maybe, just maybe, we... I, for one, am as grateful to you as the flowers are to the sun. You brought life back to these lands when it was nearly choked out. Though we may never officially call an outsider a friend, I think we can at least consider you an ally. I, for what? Well, I expect you won't be returning anytime soon to enjoy my sister's hospitality. And I can guarantee we won't run into each other on some city street. Of course. I'm sure she'll be happy to see you. I didn't think about it before, but I suppose this means the Reachmen are no longer a threat to Evermore either. All right. Well, if you ever come back to this neck of the woods, we'll kill you. <laughs> I'm only joking. We're as humor again. Go on now. May her scene bless your heart. Praise the Eight. I can't tell you how delighted I am to see you. First the Reachmen advance stopped, then the crows flew away, and now you're back. Amazing. What seemed like a hopeless situation has turned around completely. Believe it or not, I have good tidings to share with you, too. Imperial Magus General Septim Atharn is requesting a parlay. I'm hoping it's to discuss a peace settlement.
No, I wouldn't put anything past the Imperials. I'm optimistic, but not naive. That's why I've been delaying the meeting. I want you there, just in case. We'll also have members of the fighters. Now that you're here, we can get on with it. Gabrielle is joining us from the Mages Guild, and Darian from the Fighters Guild. I suppose you want to discuss strategy with them. When you're ready, just ask Gabrielle to open the portal. It's neutral territory, a remote valley in central Bankarai. Gabrielle and Darian have already scouted it out. They can tell you what they saw. When you're ready, Gabrielle is planning to open a portal to get us down there. I think they expected to take Evermore through deception. We've prevented that. I'm sure they'd like to take the city by force, but as long as Bankarai Garrison is standing, that won't be happening. They may be ready to cut their... Under the terms of the parley, I agreed not to bring the Royal Guard. Septima's crazy if she thinks I'll meet her without an escort, though. She's bringing her magic, so I'm bringing mine. I'll have some steel on hand, too, for good measure. Hi there. Queen Argella told me about all you did for the city. Sounds like they should be building a statue. Anyways, compared to what you've already dealt with, this should be a cinch. Really, we'll be in position above the Parley site. If the Imperials try anything, we'll make sure they regret it. The three of us can cast spells to rain down fire, ice, lightning. We have it all. You'll just need to tell us where to target our spells. I hope so, because we're going to spread out and each cover a different area. If anyone comes, we'll call it out, but we'll wait for you to direct us. Ah, the Queen's Champion. Honored to meet you. Means we're that much closer to getting paid. That's good, because I didn't come to Evermore for the women. Are you ready then? For us, it's just sticking by the Queen. If the Magus General starts chanting, we go for the windpipe. If things really go to oblivion, we'll be shielding the Queen until Gabrielle can get us on. Whenever you're ready to go to the Parley site, let me know and I'll open a portal. Let's hope that creating portals is the only magic we need. Excellent. I'm going to open one portal directly to the Parley site for the Queen and the Fighters Guild members, and another to take us above. Actually, I guess we should go first. Now, which portal was which? Oh, I remember. Here we go! Give me a moment here. It takes a lot of energy to open a portal over this distance. That should do it. Enter when ready. We'll be right behind you. Good. Looks like everyone ended up in the right place. Let's get to our positions. Queen should be here any moment. I hope at least. Clear! Take up positions! Yeah. 
I don't like this. Where's the Magus General? It's not like a Tharn to be late. Impatience is hardly the mark of a strong ruler, your majesty. When you're queen, you're welcome to set a finer example, Magus General. That's one honor I do not seek. What I do seek is the unconditional surrender of Evermore. You came all this way just to make absurd demands? I'm surprised. Hardly absurd, Argella. I tried the soft approach with the Duke, but you spoiled that effort. I've come to make one final offer. Surrender, or you will die. Your threats carry little weight, Septima. Bankerai Garrison still stands between us, and it does not fall easily. Or did you miss that in your history lessons? Those who hide in the shadows of the past are crushed when its structures come tumbling down. Bankerai Garrison has already fallen. My legionnaires walk its battlements even now. Is this another one of your lies? I don't care. It's clear you want a war, and if that's what you want, you can have it. <clears throat> what? Uh, she's not even here. It's an illusion. Ha! Just remember, you struck first, Argella. Seventh Legion, attack! Ambush! Defend the Queen at all costs! Fried fire salts. They're coming, all right. Don't forget, we're looking to you to direct our spells. Don't worry about targeting over our allies. I promise, we won't fry the Queen. Everyone, call them out when you see them. My Magicka is almost depleted. It's going to take all I've got to open a portal back to the palace. Be ready. Can't you cast any faster, Gabrielle? The Imperials can. Your portal's opening up. The portal to Evermore. Go, Your Majesty. Go! I should be glad we got away, but I'm too angry to think. They've taken the garrison? The brutish swine. If there is one thing I do before I die, it's going to be spitting on the corpse of that cowardly wench Septima Tharn. Were we? Where are Darian and Gabrielle? I, I thought they were coming right behind us. Damn it. I would not have them sacrifice themselves. Not for me, at least. Surely they're still coming. That... that could have gone better. I didn't think I had another portal in me. Glad I was wrong. Well, at least some of us survived. I had a feeling that was gonna end in blood. I didn't know it would be like that, though. I feel bad for my guildmates. My next personal project. I'm going to figure out how to open two portals at once. It seems the crows have departed from Evermore, but the Black Cloud hasn't. With Bankerai Garrison taken, there's nothing stopping the Imperials from marching here. I didn't retake the throne to watch the kingdom fall, though. We'll find a way. I know you will. I'm counting on it. Without you, this castle would already be flying Imperial banners. You've saved the kingdom. And now, it's Queen. If there's one person I believe in, it's you. Still, I don't know how we're going to do it alone. Fortunately, you won't have to. Emmerich, I mean, your majesty, thank the gods. I've just been informed of what's happened at Bankorai Garrison. It seems my timing is impeccable as ever. So you're the one who's been helping my cousin Argella hold the kingdom together. 
Of course. And now you'll have some help. I brought as many Lion Guard as I could muster. We were hoping to spill some Reachman blood for old time's sake, but the Imperials will suffice. Are you ready to retake the garrison then? Excellent. I'll organize our forces and march to Bankeroy Pass within the hour. I've already sent scouts to assess the Imperials' defenses. If you get there before me, look for Scout Nadira. We can finally... Is there no hope? My heart goes out to Arjala. I admire her strength in shouldering so much responsibility. <laughs> All right, everyone. It's time to st There you are. If you expected to find us scaling the walls already, I'm sorry to disappoint. Don't get me wrong. We considered taking a stab at it, but with our limited numbers, I don't really think that plays to our strength. Well, let's see. We have this sewer entrance here that the Imperials don't seem to know about. And then, well, we have you, of course. I'm thinking to base our attack strategy around that. Yes. Sometimes victory means getting dirty, and that's quite literally true. Yeah. A passage in the sewers leads to the gatehouse. If you'll open the main gate, we can get into the garrison without having to scale the walls and lose half our men. Such displeasure and disappointment. Nothing works, even though every calculation is precise. Now an interruption. 
How infuriating. Wait, wait. Divine energy. I'll have you know I participated in Lord Sothis Seal's nine analyses of the exalted enigmas. But we have more important matters. I'm about a reciprocal exchange. Interesting, yes. I can see the benefits of such an arrangement. Very well. Just such a waste repeating words. Activate the crystals in the proper order. It's all about colors, like a rainbow. Make a mistake and reset the mechanism using that lever, unless it explodes. You'd be surprised how often that happens. You activate the crystals. Look for pure light, not muddled. I'll modulate the energy fluctuations, make sure nothing explodes. If color confounds you, look at the shape. Fewest sides to most. But the great gear turns, so be quick, be quick. Good help is as rare as the legendary last Dwemer. But a clockwork is only as strong as its weakest cog. Just work your way up the rainbow. If the color isn't clear, examine the crystals. Start with the simple. Reset the mechanism and try again. Sequence. Try again. A good start. Keep going. So far, so good. Look what you are. Close. Very close. One more to go. Yes, I love it when the gears align. Such are the benefits of an extra set of appendages. The energy flows freely and without disruption, allowing the rods and the pistons to align in a most pleasing manner. <laughs> Thank you. Now, why do you want to know about divine energy? Scent. How intriguing. I was just thinking about my former master, Sofa Seal, and the experiments we conducted. I desperately sought to understand the power he and his companions attained, especially whether or not that power was temporary. Not while I assisted him. He had a tool that he used to drain away minute bits of his own divine energy to store and study. He could extract it and return it as he saw fit. Not sure what became of the tool, but here are my notes from those days. More questions? Well, Lord Sotha Seal attributed curiosity to intellectual superiority. Suppose I should do the same. Ask, and I will attempt to tighten the cogs of your ongoing education as best I can. Odd question. Is a hammer a weapon? A saw? A Dwemer spring spanner? No, it was just a tool. A device crafted by Sotha Seal to aid in his endless experiments. I suppose I could imagine ways to modify the device, but for what reason? Hmm. Haven't a clue. Tools have a way of wandering off when you don't stay vigilant. I had a guava used to swallow tools when I wasn't looking. Glowed for a month until the enchantment dissipated and the tool passed. Should have heard the screams. I was his apprentice, but that was years ago. Spent time working in the Clockwork City. That's what I learned about energy transference, Dwemer engineering, mechanical symmetry. The Arch Colonel, Lord Vivek's High Priest. Suddenly the gears aligned. I can think of a number of reasons that Alm and V would want to know about C and his tools, but some doors just shouldn't be opened. He's the father of mysteries, and the architect of time, one of the tribunal, the three living gods of the Dark Elves, creates all sorts of helpful and intriguing devices, like the Clockwork City. I haven't seen... It's a wonder and a miracle. All brass tunnels, glass domes, and giant gears. He was inspired by the work of the Dwemer. The Clockwork City is pure Sofa Seal. <laughs> he made it to forge the future and reshape the world. I learned a lot there.
Over here. This requires a considerable amount of effort, so just listen. We have a problem here. Return to my office immediately. At last, did you see what's happening outside? Red Mountain rumbles louder and more frequently. The sky grows dark, and worst of all, the people are beginning to notice. Soon I'll have to muster the ordinators to keep them from the palace doors. In part, Lord Vivek is... not well. I won't allow his followers to see him in this state. He continues to lose energy, and it's becoming difficult for him to maintain the realm in his usual fashion. Now, what did your investigations uncover? I'll review these documents and present your findings to Lord Vivek. I was against bringing you into this investigation, but I was wrong. Thank you for aiding us. You should go see Lord Vivek now. He's been asking about you. I'll be along shortly. Very well. Tell me what you learned at each of the locations, and let's see what... Berylzar faithfully served Sothisil. He's as loyal to the Tribunal as I am. He would never intentionally harm Lord Vivek. But that tool he mentioned... Perhaps... Lord Vivek doesn't want his followers to see him in such a weakened state. Only you, Canon Levuel, and myself are permitted into his palace now. Speaking of the palace... Lord Vivek wants to see you when we're done here. So your notes say, and this Saren assisted you. Interesting. Most Ashlanders want nothing to do with the Tribunal. Even so, they rarely become aggressive. I'd say this interesting theory. Perhaps Chordala's staff can steal Vivek's energy. But I have a hard time imagining how an Ashlander could accomplish such a feat. Lord Vivek said the draining has grown more intense since you left. It doesn't look well. From what you discovered, I dare say there may be a correlation between the narcotic relic and the tool barrels I'll mention. And it seems the Ashlander themes are connected to Chodala. Your evidence points to it. So it appears. Lord Vivek's doing his best not to complain, but I can see how much the draining of his energy has cost him. Just seeing you again should improve. For aid, perhaps one of the healers can help you. Hain is best tolerated in private. As I have written in the 37th Ballad, there must be something I can do. You can call the Arch Cannon. He should hear the news our friend brings us. The river drains into the sea as my divinity flows out of me. Hmm. Need some work. As you can see, an Ashlander? That seems unlikely, but I trust your instincts. We need to find out more about this Chodala and the ancient enemy that aids him. Take this, another token of my appreciation. And look, here comes the Arch Cannon now. My lord, the Outlander may have actually discovered something. After further examination of the documents you brought back, I have to agree with your assessment. The Ashlander Chodala has somehow siphoned divine energy away. Not exactly. But now that we know that the affliction isn't natural, we can work toward a solution, one that probably involves Chodala's staff. Eventually, but we need to be cautious. If Chodala is as respected as you say, attacking him would start a war we can't afford to partake. Get to Aldrin and locate Saren. She needs to tell us more about Chodala and then help us acquire his staff. Without it, we can't restore Vivek. Meanwhile, I need to placate. Didn't we cover this? Let me refresh your memory. Lord Vivek suffers stoically as his divine energy drains away. 
Neither my administrations nor his defenses have been sufficient to plug the hole. So we've isolated him to keep panic to a minimum. If we knew for certain, we wouldn't be sending you to make a deal with a heretical Ashlander, now would we? Shodala must have something to do with Vivek's energy loss. Everything you uncovered suggests the staff and Sotha Sil's missing tool are one and the same, and it's obviously connected to Chodala's newfound powers. Bring it back here. Experience, Outlander. Experience. I have seen the Dunmer rage against the gods at the least provocation. When they realize... The people don't handle the infirmities of their deities very well. Especially when those infirmities could foreshadow Red Mountain's eruption or pretend the moonlits fall from the sky. They try not to think about them at all. The Ashlanders are savages. They refuse to acknowledge the supremacy of Lord Vivek in the Tribunal, instead putting their feet. The Ashlanders hold the superstitions the way Kwama protect their eggs. If they really considered Chodala to be the Nereverin, then any action you take against him. Outlander, quickly! This way! I've been thinking about my brother's claim that he's the Nereverin since we last spoke. No matter how I try, the word tastes false on my tongue. And now I fear he's about to convince the wise... My brother is respected and revered. He has allies in all of the tribes, not to mention his personal red exiles. We have to proceed with caution. We talked to my brother, tried to convince him this isn't the way. Barring that, we make sure the wise woman doesn't get drawn into his madness. Whatever Chodala says or does, don't attack him. We don't need a war between the houses and the Ashlanders. The wise woman. I was hoping she'd be here. You're too late, dear sister. Despite your protestations, the wise woman has gone to the cave of the Incarnate to confirm my claim. Brother, do you really want to pursue this dangerous course? There was a time when you gave me your unconditional support, Saren. I miss those days. My brother Chodala is about to do something foolish and dangerous. But by dusk and dawn, Azura put you and I on the same path for a purpose. I just hope we have enough time. He's about to claim the title of the Nereverin and try to unite the Ashlander tribes gathered here. He already convinced the Red Exiles to support him. Wise woman Dovrasi, the most respected counselor and spirit guide this side of Red Mountain. She went to the cavern of the Incarnate to meditate on Chodala's claim. Agreed, but I dare not leave Chodala alone with the tribes. I feel the hand of Azura in all this. Go to the cavern of the Incarnate and talk to the wise woman. I'll stay here and try to keep things under control until you return. The cavern's to the northeast of Aldrin, on the other side of the mountain. Hopefully, the rumbling and lava won't slow you down too much. Get to the cavern and talk to the wise woman. My brother isn't the first to believe he's Nerevar returned. All of the previous veiled incarnates rest within the cavern. A statue of Azura watches over them as they await the arrival. Azura proclaimed that someday, Indurel Nerevar, a hero from our ancient past, would return to unite the Dark Elves and right the wrongs of Nern. We call the returned incarnate the Nereverin. My brother Chodala believes that he's Nerevar reborn. When Chodala became a Gulakon, a champion of our people, I supported him. When he stepped forward as Ashkan, leader of our tribe, I was at his side. But this new claim... You helped my sister. Thank you for that. But you don't need to worry about the Red Exiles anymore. They're under my control now. As for everything else, that's Ashland of business. Plotting? No, I'm confident that the false god will fall. Azura has proclaimed this, and I know it to be true. The tribunal betrayed our hero and turned away from our religion. And they call us heretics. Bah! How overly simplistic the world must be to your eyes, Outlander. I am Nerevar Reborn. I will lead my people to power and glory. 
the wise my sister is too naive and idealistic for her own good look at the power i wield feel the conviction in my words while the house elves squabble and fight to carve up our land the nerevarian will step forth to end their tyranny Outsider, you bear our crest, but your blood runs dry as ash. You are no Hleron. If you come as a friend, prove your intent, pay homage, or join us in death. We were nomads once. It was Saint Veloth's doing. other tribes and hunted the great scar with my spear I struck the final blow all of Veloth's children embraced in triumph then everything changed 